Full set syndrome is real. And as we're building our markers collection, we may feel very limited with the things we can do with the color we have. But maybe it is still possible to get great results with a limited number of markers. To test this hypothesis, I'm going to use the Spectrum Noir Discovery Kit. The kit includes some illustrations to practice your coloring, a little guide and markers. Five markers to be exact. And if I look at the cover, I would assume that the claim here is that I can color like this with the five markers included in the kit. Challenge accepted. First things first, let's take a look at the guide. It doesn't have coloring instructions as such, but it shows you how you can mix the colors you have to create additional shades. So you can, for example, mix yellow and pink to get orange. With blue and yellow, you can make green. With blue and pink, you can make purple. And you can also use this gray marker in the kit to tone down your shades and darken them up a little bit as well. There is also a tan marker in the kit, which is going to be a good base for our skin color. But honestly, I don't know how I'm going to use the rest of the colors to color a person. Well, as always, when I try something challenging, I'm gonna start from what I know. In this case, it is mapping out the shadows using the tan marker in the kit. And to do that, I can follow the shading that the artist used and use the cover of the kit as a reference. So this is pretty straightforward at this point. Another thing I can do before moving on to those bright pinks and blues is to add a second layer with my tan marker to start deepening the shadows already. But after this step, there is no escape. I'm gonna have to start using the pink and the blue in the kit. And I'm scared. It's just paper. It's just paper. Looking at the packaging of the kit, I can see a little bit of pink and purple hues on the right side of her face and neck. So I'm going to start by first adding some pink there and then some blue. And let me tell you, those colors are really bright. And it may look fine on camera, I'm not sure, but trust me, in real life, it feels like we are ready for carnival. This doesn't look promising at all and I need to find a way to tone it down. Let's see. If I use the yellow marker in the kit, I'm going to turn this bright pink into more of a orange hue, which maybe will look more like a skin tone. And also because purple and yellow are complementary color, if I lay the yellow marker on top of the purple areas, maybe I will tone them down a little bit. And it's kind of working, I just want to be able to get a little bit of that contrast back so I'm going over the area again with the bright pink and the blue and I'm also going to use my grey marker to tone this down even more. The last step is to add a coat with my tan marker on top and hopefully this will make the whole skin tone look a little bit cohesive once I'm done colouring the face. Alright, so at this point I'm feeling a little bit more confident with the way I'm going to add colors so I can move on and start adding shading to the nose and the crease under the chin. The next challenge is to work on the lips. As you can see there is no drawing really here so I'm actually going to have to draw in the shape. And in order to play it as safe as possible, I'm going to start with my tan marker. Which means if I end up not liking the shape I drew, I can always kind of correct it because I'm going to use that color all over the face and this will ultimately basically hide the mistake. I then layered some pink on top of the lips and then I shaded one side with my yellow marker and the other side with the blue one, still following the kiss cover as a guide. These are definitely colors I wouldn't normally use and I'm really hoping that by the end of the process everything will sort of come together because things look a little bit weird right now and I wouldn't want to have to add additional markers to fix this coloring. Next, I'm going to shade the left side of the face and here I'm going to skip the blue because I don't want the shadows to be as dark. So I started with my pink and yellow markers and then I thought, why not adding some gray to this? It's going to darken the shades and give me all that nice dimension and contrast, right? Wrong. 
This is not the color you want a person to have. This is more like the color of a zombie. But the saving grace here is that with alcohol markers, if you keep layering colors on top of what you have on the paper, eventually you'll be able to kind of bleach that color out. And I took advantage of this also to fix the lips a little bit because as I was looking at the coloring, I realized that the lower lip was a little bit too big for the result I was going for. So I went over the area with the tan marker until I managed to bleach everything out and honestly a blender would have been really useful in this situation, but I made do with what I had. Disaster averted. At this point it was a matter of finishing the neck and filling in the empty areas in the face with my tan marker and next it's gonna be the hair. And this is gonna be really challenging, you know why? Because the hair color in the kit cover is like a deep brown, but I don't have a dark brown, so my only hope is to get something similar with the colors I have, which means I'm gonna have to mix them all together and hope it's not gonna turn into a hot mess. You know me, I like to play it safe, so I started with my yellow marker and I filled in the areas that I thought were gonna be darker. I'm not even worrying about flicks or anything like this, I'm just blocking in those areas and next I'm going to go over them with my tan marker. I then added my grey, pink and blue marker and look at this. This is not what I would call brown. It's more like a grey tone and honestly I don't think there is anything else I can do other than just keep colouring at this point. I figured if I add just blue and pink to the highlights I'm going to sort of bring the hair back to life a little bit more and by adding the pink as a second color I'm able to create a little bit more of a lighter shade because another problem I have with the hair at the moment is that I don't have as much contrast as I would like. But as I kept coloring the hair I realized one thing. Adding these bright colors to the hair was helping tone down the skin tones a little bit. So because I have this bright purple on the hair, the purple tones that I have on the face of the character look more like brown. Which wasn't something I was expecting, but it's really a nice effect and it's definitely something I am learning from. For the eyes I used blue, green and grey and definitely the hard part in this was to try and draw the iris and the pupil in a way that is as symmetrical as possible so that the look of the characters looks fine I guess, but I think I managed to pull it off. The next two steps are the ones that are really going to bring everything together and I didn't expect it to happen that way. The first step was coloring the flowers. And this is kind of what happened with the hair, but to a larger extent. Having brighter colors around this character pushed back her skin tone to a more desaturated and realistic look. And also I could see that the piece was really starting to get a cohesive look. Having used the same five markers on pretty much every element of this illustration brought everything together in a way that I hadn't experienced before. And I think the look is really beautiful and I'm pretty sure it's way better than it would have been had I colored the hair with a brown marker. The white gel pen details added a little bit of a magical, whimsical touch to this illustration and also helped me get back some of that contrast that I really wanted, for example in the hair and in the eyes. There is really a lot you can do even with just a few markers and having limited supplies forces us to think creatively. Speaking of which, do you want to see how I turned one stencil into five cards? Then check out this video right here and I bet you, you weren't expecting some of them. 